DuPont Innovation lowers LCOE by increasing cell efficiencies and system lifetime while reducing total system cost. Materials matter. Hello there and welcome to another PV Tech newscast. Coming up today, solar is fastest growing renewable in the US to 2040. Jinko Solar secures one billion US dollar five year financing deal from China Development Bank. And Sharp's triple junction cell reaches record 37.7% efficiency. Solar will play a central role in boosting the share of renewables in America's energy mix between now and 2040, according to the latest figures from the US Energy Information Administration. Their annual energy outlook for 2013 forecasts that by 2040, renewables will meet 16% of US energy demand, up from 13% last year. With generation costs falling, the report says solar, and to a lesser extent wind, will play a central role in driving the growth of renewables in the US. It singles out PV as the fastest growing in the sector, accounting for 17% of total electricity generated from renewable energy sources, excluding hydropower, by 2040. Staying with the US, the PV market grew by 684 megawatts in the third quarter of this year, 44% more than in the same period in 2011, according to SEIA and GTM research. The quarter marked the third largest on record for the US PV industry, raising the total installed capacity through the first three quarters of the year to 1.99 gigawatts, surpassing 2011's annual total of 1.88 gigawatts. SEIA and GTM Research expect 2012 growth to top 70% with a record 3.2 gigawatt of solar installed, enough to power more than half a million average US homes. Cumulatively, there are now 5.9 gigawatt of PV operating in the US from more than 271,000 installations. Turning to financial news now, and SunTech Power Holdings has reported preliminary third quarter revenue of approximately 387 million US dollars, down 18% from the last quarter. Citing slower demand from European markets, the key knock-on effect is the guidance that shipments would drop to a low single-digit percentage in the fourth quarter, resulting in a further downward revision of full-year shipment guidance to between 1.7 and 1.8 gigawatt compared to previous guidance of 1.8 to 2 gigawatt. Based on the new guidance, Suntech would relinquish its number one ranking to Yingli Green, which recently guided shipments for the full year to be between 2.1 and 2.2 gigawatt. Another tier one PV module manufacturer, Hanwha Solar One, has lowered full year shipment guidance to between 825 and 850 megawatt. The company reported third quarter revenue down 9.9% to 153.7 million US dollars, while being down 32.8% from the same quarter a year ago. Module shipments reached 239.5 megawatts, up 3.8%. Hanwha Solar One noted that module ASP declines in the quarter were higher than production cost reductions, which impacted gross margins and losses. Cost reductions had outpaced ASP declines in Q2. Based on full year shipment guidance, the company expects module shipments to be in the range of 194 to 219 megawatts. And staying with financials, China Development Bank is to support PV module manufacturer Jinko Solar with a 1 billion US dollar five year finance deal. The arrangement is said to support Jinko Solar's plans for overseas expansion, including PV project development and EPC activities, as well as support potential merger and acquisition strategies. A record conversion efficiency of 37.7% has been attributed to a CPV triple junction compound solar cell developed and optimized by Sharp Corporation, and it's been verified by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. Sharp used an indium-gallium arsenide combination as the bottom absorption layer, 
while increasing the active area at the cell edges. The research and development program was supported by Japan's new energy and industrial technology development organization. The device is targeted at CPV applications as well as space satellites and vehicles. And finally, another emerging market, South Africa, was in the news this week after a host of companies announced winning bids to build utility-scale projects as part of the South Africa government's renewable energy independent power producer procurement program. Hanwar Solar One, ABB, GCL Poly and Suntech have all announced projects, so watch this space. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.